your team 8680 Crack and Pinion, and today we're going to be showing off uh, intake and scoring testing. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. If your team is utilizing SOLIDWORKS, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SOLIDWORKS and their engineers and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Student Community. We have the claw, which is like uh, just basically some gears attached to a four bar. And that's attached to our like big four bar, which lifts everything up. And so uh, once the claw grabs the cones, the four bar just extends and lifts and then you know, we can drop them. We just clear those top ones, so, you know, we have room to aim. And we're working on a function to, like, lift it up, like, less so we can get to the smaller ones, so we can go for the uh, sort of connected circuit across the whole field. Um, and that's something we're going to do very soon here. But right now we're just working on moving on the top poles because those score the most points. And that's what our lift is set to. So we have our beacons here. Um, and they're just 3D printed parts we had left over. And they go right on top of the cones like this. So the robot can pick them up. Yeah, so it's picked up just as easily as any of the cones. And it can be placed on top to claim that pull as ours for the match. So, yeah, we're seeing some pretty good cycle times here. Uh, I'm not sure as the season goes on what a good cycle time will be, but uh, this is definitely something that I can say that we're, uh, you know, we're proud of for our 30-hour build robot. That's actually, I don't think we're allowed to score on top of our capstone, but they did it anyway. Yeah, we, we got to make it more stable because it is pretty shaky, especially for when, if you notice, when it extends at the very top, there's a lot of shake, the cone's like moving up and down. So that's like a second we can shave off our cycle time if we can just stop that from, sh from shaking uh, once it's fully extended and so that we can aim quicker. Yeah, we just, we just need to stabilize that last like bar on the... A uh, big lift uh, because that's pretty janky right now, but that's to be expected from a 30-hour build robot. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out all the other videos on Fun's YouTube channel. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is utilizing SolidWorks, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SOLIDWORKS and their engineers, and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Student Community. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Special thanks to Team 8680 Cracking Pinion for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors. 